Good day fellow investors! Investing can be really overwhelming, especially if you are a beginner. And there is so much content for beginners online that a beginner doesn't know where to start. So today I will discuss 15 things that you can actually do and do immediately to get you going. It is difficult to learn about investing, it is a steep learning curve, however, over the long time in your life is worth it. So let's start immediately. The first question an investor has is what kind of brokerage account should I open to invest in stocks? Well, my answer is look first at the cheapest broker with the cheapest transaction fees. So that when you invest, even if it is a little amount, you don't pay a lot in fees. Secondly, open more brokerage accounts because if it doesn't cost anything to open brokerage accounts, open them, see how the other brokers work, what are they offering that might help you or not in what is your investing style and your preferred way of doing things. So the more brokerages, the more you know, the more the options you see, the more you learn about the stock market through opening new brokerage accounts. As long as it doesn't cost you anything, have fun, learn the process. Now that you have opened a brokerage account, the second thing to do is invest money. And what I would say that every beginner should do is determine a fixed monthly investment sum. Look at your income, your salary, what are your expenses, what is the money left and then say, okay, I'm going to spend so much of my salary in stocks. As your salary goes up, increase the money you are investing in stocks. I don't know, your salary goes up $1,000 and then you say, okay, in the next year I'm going to invest 500 more into stocks. Over the long term, you will do very, very well if you invest constantly month by month. It is not picking the right stock that will make you rich. It is the habit of constantly investing month by month that will make you rich. Not the stock, the habit. Really remember this one. This is perhaps the most important investing advice I have ever heard. The habit of saving and investing will make you rich, not stock picking. Number three, as I said, not stock picking will make you rich and you don't know much about stocks. The best thing to do is to start buying every month a different stock. Over a year, two years, you will have 20 stocks, 15, 20 stocks in your portfolio and you start slowly following those stocks to see what's going on, what did you buy, what happened to the stock price, was it too risky and then in the period of two years through buying 20 different companies you will understand what kind of investment strategy best fits you. So invest the first two years into buying a lot of different stocks across different countries, across different sectors from I don't know gold miners to IT technology whatever in order to learn and to learn what's best for you and your financial goals and what's the best investment strategy for you, what kind of diversification and so on. So really give yourself the first two years to invest, diversify and learn. Number four, be ready to see stocks drop. As it has been the case in the last few weeks, stocks have been dropping a little bit. It's not significant if you look at it from a long-term perspective. However, stocks can drop and the drop can continue for a year, two years, three years. But if you invest month by month and if you're just a beginner, you should beg for a stock market to crash because then you will be able to buy all the same stocks that are now very expensive for a low, low price. And that is what will create enormously positive investment returns in the long term. The next thing to do is don't trade stocks. As you are a beginner, you don't know anything and you, if you go trading, you go against quant hedge funds, against JP Morgans, against the Goldman Sachs of the world, the professional traders with billion of dollars that are there to take advantage of the beginning trader. So don't look at stock prices day by day. Look at the business, analyze the business, look at the fundamentals. What is the business return? What is the dividend? Is the dividend sustainable? And look how that fits your investment long-term goal. The next topic in line with that, don't buy a stock 
hire the business. What am I saying here? You are not buying a stock where the price goes up and down. You are buying, you're hiring a part of the, the business, you're hiring the business to work for you. The only difference between hiring a stock and hiring a person is that you pay once to hire a stock and you get the benefits forever. If you hire a person, you pay it every month and you get the benefits that month. So by hiring a business to work for you, look at the business, look at the earnings of the business and then be ready to accept those dividends, those earnings to create value for you for the rest of your life. The point is that you have to pay only once for a stock or better to say business. So if you think as a business owner, everything would be much, much easier when starting investing because looking at stock prices go up and down, trust me, after 15, 20 years of beginners investing, then you can start thinking about doing positioning according to trades, volume and uh, sectors, trends or whatever. But that's after 10, 15 years. When investing, always think what can go wrong. In the last 20 years, the S&P 500 fell 50% twice. So 50% twice in the last 20 years. So if you invest whatever is the amount you have, can you stand a 50%, 70% drop to that amount of money? If you can't, then invest only the money that you can tolerate to see fall 70%. Or as you invest per month, you would even be happy that a stock market crashes 70% because it would allow to buy you more stocks on the cheap. But always keep in mind with the stock you're buying, with the market, with everything, what can be the worst case scenario that can happen to my money and to my investment. Next, start learning. Read books, learn the markets. Don't look at the news too much because the news are just replicating what happened and go, the news go for clicks. They don't go for giving you knowledge. They don't go for giving you long term ideas on the market that you can get from books because books are written for the long term. Here is a video about seven books that I would really recommend. There are plenty more books. If you're a beginner, find a book that, okay, stock market for beginners or something where it really explains the technicals. What are the fundamentals, the price to earnings ratio, price to book value, different sectors and so on and so on. So if you enjoy learning, read books. How long should you read? First two years just to understand what is what, the technical part of the stock market. Then you have to still accept to learn until a full cycle has passed. So crash, up, crash, and then you can say, okay, I have lived through two crashes. I know a little bit better the stock market and what to expect from the stock market in the long term, because that's actually what you want. You want to see what can you get in the long term from the stock market. If you want short term money making, go to Las Vegas. The stock market is not the place for you. Look at long term trends. That's a key component of investing in the stock market. Everybody looks at short term. Where will the S&P 500 go in the next five months, year or next week? That's very short term. However, if you look at the long term and you learn, okay, the price to earnings ratio of the S&P 500 is 25. If we take 10 year average earnings, the price to earnings ratio cyclically adjusted because it takes 10 years is 30. Never in history have long term returns been positive from such high stock prices and such high valuations. So if you take a perspective of the long term, then it really helps you how to invest because you're a beginner, you probably invest for the long term. You want to create wealth over the long term. So if you take a long term perspective, you will do good. If you start chasing news, start trading, start seeing what, where can I make some money in the next day, month, you have already lost. Maybe you won't see it in your portfolio, but you will see it in the next year or two when you will stop with trading and you will say, I will never come back to stocks because you had a short term orientation. Next one, prepare to run a marathon. You will invest for the next 42 years, hopefully. So it's stock market is not a sprint. It's not a short distance run. Oh, I invest for a few years. I hear some people asking me, oh, I want to save for a down payment for my house. You don't do that through the stock market.
because you might have no down payment very quickly. So the stock market is not a casino. The stock market should be an investment tool, vehicle that will amass wealth over the very, very long term. 42 years, it's a good investment horizon. Think about it. If it's not 42 years, if you want to trade, swing trades, catch earnings here and there, then again, you might have missed the really big picture of what investing is. In that way, establish long-term financial goals. You are now, I don't know, 25, 30. What is your financial goal at 40? What is your financial goal at 50, at 60? How will you get there? I know it's difficult. It's impossible to know where you will be in 10 years, but creating a scenario allows you to then move the pieces, changing that scenario, increasing, decreasing, finding a job or changing yourself to get to where you want to go. If you know the goal, the universe will make it possible for you to get to that goal. If you don't have a goal, then I'm sure you will end up somewhere else. So really put financial goals, see, okay, stock market, after 20 years, the return will be, I don't know, three, 4%. I'm going to invest in stocks. I need 10% return and then I'm not going to invest in the general stock market now. I'm going to learn about investing and find a way to get to 10% returns if you need those without risk. Possible, but you need to learn a lot more than what you know as a beginner. Something very important, even if we are talking about the stock market, when you look at the perspective or your, of your investments, have other investments. That's the key. Over the last 35 years, the stock market has been going nothing but up. Not so straight line, but the stock market increased 25 times, 25 fold. There is a similar chance that over the next 35 years, the stock market constantly decreases. If interest rates go up, stocks will go down, perhaps a little bit earnings will help, but you can expect a very, very negative downtrend in stocks. So you need to have stocks, but you need to also have other investment in life that will lead you to your financial goals. It might be real estate, it might be investing in some businesses, side job, whatever, that will get you to your goals faster or safer. It's perhaps even import more important, safer than faster. So really think about diversifying really across everything and everywhere in order to get where you want to go. Because there is a possibility that stocks just go down for the next 25 years. As I said, if you invest on a monthly basis, you will do well also if stocks go just down for the next 25 years, because after 25 years, you will have so many stocks, such a big dividend yield that you will do extremely well. However, you have to be prepared for that and if you're diversified, you can see, okay, stocks are expensive, real estate are cheap. It happens because real estate usually have a lag in the recovery when stocks are compared to real estate. So you might sell your stocks at some point and invest in real estate at some point. So it's really interesting how those things work. If you're too focused on the stock market, like many people have been over the last 35 years, you might get to very negative surprises someday in the future. And that's something you don't want. Next, extremely important, invest only the money you don't need. If you need your money to pay tuition for a down payment of the house, you're saving through the stock market. If, if you want to buy a house in the next few years, uh, children tuition, whatever, mm, the stock market is not really the vehicle for that. The stock market gives a nice bonus to your life, gives over the very, very long term, a nice return. But if you need that money in the short to medium term, up to 10, 15, 10 years, 15 years, I wouldn't go through the stock market. I would rather save so that I'm sure that I get what I want. If the goal is that important, if the goal is less important, then okay, you might play and in, invest through the stock market to get there. So really think about investing in the stock market only the money you don't need. Don't in take debt to invest in the stock market. Don't play with your rent money. Don't play with your college tuition money or credit cards or whatever. Really think about investing in stocks, only the extras. That habit will allow you to be happy whatever happens in the stock market. 
invest more when it's cheap. If you have money that you need, then you're very, very nervous and you don't make rational decisions when investing. Most importantly, subscribe to this YouTube channel. I share my research. I try to be objective. I try to show various perspectives. I don't know which one you will like, but I will teach you a lot every day about investing in the stock market. So subscribe, be sure to follow, ask your questions in the commentary. I think I reply to every question, to every comment. So really take advantage of what I'm doing here. I'm having fun with YouTube. I'm having fun helping people and I'm getting also great information from other people because many heads think much better than one head. So share your ideas, whatever, subscribe, watch the videos and learn so that we together come faster and safer to our financial goals. I will conclude the last number, find your own way. My way fits my personality. Your way has to fit your personality. What is your personality? Learn how it fits and then get good at it. Give yourself a lot of learning years and then get good. If it's trading, okay, if your personality is to trade, learn to trade and that takes a lot of years. But if it works for you, if you really like it, then learn it. George Soros made a lot of money trading. So perhaps you are the next George Soros. So don't listen to market gurus. Don't listen to me. Find your own way. Okay, get the information. Hmm, think about it, analyze it, put it into your perspective that's related to your life and then see what you can do with it. I'm just sharing my knowledge and also think about everybody else. They are just sharing their opinion. Looking forward to your comments. You were looking forward to your questions. Click like if you like the video. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you in the next video.